Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm doing a really quick grocery haul. I went to three different stores. Um, and just to fill in for the week, um, the kids are just now on summer vacation. They uh, were out as of Friday. So we are getting into, you know, summer vacation mode of being home, needing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this was just a quick shop. It's not our full... Um, like big grocery shop but we just needed a couple things for this week so we went to three different stores and got a couple of things that we saw on sale and um, then I'm gonna show you um, I'll either show or tell you what we have in our freezer and pantry and then what we're planning on making for dinners for the next couple of days so um, first, I'd like to say if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. If you're an oldie but goodie, thanks for coming back. And let's jump right into this grocery haul. Okay, so first we went to Fry's, Kroger Affiliate. Um, I got some mini marshmallows. Gonna do um, Rice Krispie Treats with my daughter at some point. Um, we got some romaine lettuce. Uh, strawberries were on sale for 75 cents a piece. I think the romaine was a dollar 49. These were a dollar. Um, Kroger uh, shells were a dollar and I had a 20 cent off coupon so 80 cents for those. Great deal. I got the um, Kroger brand toaster treats which are like pop tarts and those were a dollar as well. Got blueberry and strawberry. Milk was a little high today at two nineteen. Don't murder me. <laughs> I know a lot of people pay a lot more for milk than that, but we are used to lower prices here. Um, and then the Mission tortillas were one eighty eight, and they had like three times the gas points on them. So we grabbed one pack of those. I'm gonna use those obviously for Taco Tuesday or whatever taco whenever so we'll do a taco meal and that was everything that I got from Kroger from fries and um, those uh, everything came up to 1267 there and then on over to um, Food City this is like a um, it's like a Spanish um, farmers market that we have here and Let's see, we got a lot of produce from there. We got some cabbage. They had three pounds, I think, for 99 cents. Um, so that was about six pounds there. Bananas were 55 cents a pound, so I got some green ones and then some ready to eat. Some uh, cherries were 98 cents a pound. That was a, uh, just under four pounds there. Got some Fuji apples, which were 88 cents a pound. Hi, baby. I got a jicama. I've been replacing um, my potato consumption with this. Like if I make my Supa Toscana or just if I want to have the taste of potato but without the carbs because as you guys may or may not know, I'm going more low carb for myself. Um, the family still, you know, eats it, but that is a great replacement, and the baby loves it too, so that works for both of us. Um, my husband picked up some limes. They were um, 99 cents a pound. Some Roma tomatoes, which were 89 cents a pound, and then um, a package of turkey wings. They were one sixty nine a pound, so six dollars and twenty nine cents. So everything from Food City was twenty one dollars and four cents. So on over to um, Sam's, I just grabbed a few things that are a little bit more cost effective from here. Um, we got the two pack of the Sara Lee bread. Um, that was, hang on, um, four twelve for the two loaves. We got one of the honey roasted turkey breasts and um, the black forest ham. This was $4.88 and $5.88, I believe. No, $4.98 and 
four ninety eight. Um, and then the Telmuk um, cheese. This is the Kobe and Monterey slices. This has forty two slices, so twenty one each. And that was seven ninety eight. I got a bag of the Tyson's chicken nuggets. I think that's the five pound bag. Those were on sale today for just eight um, eight dollars. And then the Orida crinkle cut, the big eight pound bag. And those were six seventy eight. So um, everything that we got from here was thirty nine oh two. Um, sorry if you guys hear the noise. The baby's playing with her car back there. But um, so yeah, that was thirty nine oh two at um, Sam's. So that's everything that we got for the week. I'm going to um, sit and show you my meal plan in just a minute and. Um, either show you or just tell you what we have already in the refrigerator and the pantry or freezer that will go along with meals for this week. So yeah, sometimes it takes going to a couple of different stores just to be cost effective. Um, and other times, you know, you can do a full shop. But this is what we were able to get for this week and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it in just a second. Okay, so this is what we're working with this week. In the refrigerator, we have some pineapple juice. We have some leftovers that my husband took to work. Some fried potatoes, some corn, um, some mashed potatoes from another meal, and some um, garlic parmesan, um, green beans. There's some baked mac and cheese back there, which is probably on its way out. Um, a little bit of lettuce and we've got some jalapenos and some other veggies that I probably need to go through. Um, cilantro. These old strawberries need to come on out of here. We have one pear, um, half apple, some tomatoes, some kale, and a couple of mangoes. So I'm gonna tidy this up and put in the new, the new produce that we have and we have some milk that we got today orange juice and um, some yogurt drinks that the kids like this the new um, meat and then we just took the old one out and they can finish this up first those were still good but we didn't have space for all the containers um, the cheese and then down in the freezer we have the we have some hot dogs i think there's some meatballs back there like the frozen kind and then my fruit for smoothies chicken nuggets french fries and some yogurt um like the gogurts that the kids can eat and i think that's it so i'm gonna finish prepping everything and then um clean out the fridge and put everything else in there okay guys so I'm getting ready to um, prep some of these veggies um, for the week what I do is um, do vinegar and um, water to do a wash and then I just put the free the put the fruits and veggies down in there and um, just let them sit for a little bit and you'd be surprised at all of the the sediment and dirt and bugs sometimes all kinds of stuff that you know you don't realize so um, I'm just gonna put those down in there go ahead and let them um, rinse for a little bit um, with the I'm going to can my strawberries because I always do those put them in mason jars um, with the cherries I think I'm just gonna put them in a glass bowl and that should be fine because we'll probably get through those pretty quickly and um, yep show you guys this if you guys are not rinsing your produce with vinegar and water I would highly suggest it because that's all the stuff that comes off of it so if you're not doing it I would really suggest that you go ahead and, and do that because I mean that's a lot of 
yuck that you don't want to be eating, especially given to your kids and stuff like that. So, all right, I'm gonna cut these up and be done. what everything looks like all prepped so they have their yogurts and these are the few leftovers got the cherries in there um, whatever other fruit and produce in here all washed I did all the um, lettuce so that's ready and the kale and this is what came out what little bit of waste there was and let's see, a couple dishes in the sink still. Those are the bananas, and then we have some apples. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I have in the outside freezer. Um, up here, I have a ham bone, and I think those are turkey neck bones. Um, we have a couple of um, things of ground turkey. Um, a roast, just the one beef roast, um, some ground beef, and ground turkey, some veggies. These are um, beef shank bones, so he uses that for his pho. And then some chicken breasts. I have some bacon. Um, these are some sauces that I have frozen garlic because I buy it in the big like three pound container and then just vacuum seal it and then um, fresh parmesan and then down here I have some more veggies um, mixed fruit for my smoothies and then cheese the large bags of cheese and then over in the other um, outdoor fridge I have some neck bones that are, no, 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 I'm sorry. I have some turkey wings that are thawing and that'll be dinner for tonight. And I also shredded the uh, the cabbage that you saw me get yesterday in the grocery haul. So it's already pre-shredded. So when it's time for me to cook it, then it's already ready. So my future self is gonna thank me for that. Um, so that's what's in the freezer. And then you already saw what's in the fridge. So let's go do the meal plan. Okay, so this is my freezer inventory. And then this is like stuff in the pantry, stuff that we can make meals with, like um, lunches and things like that. And then um, this is what's in the fridge right now. So I'm gonna do the meal plan for this week. You see, I have not been keeping up with my meal plan this month because it was just so crazy. Um, and we had a lot of things going on. But um, I'm just going to start from, you know, this week and then get back into the habit of it. So um, yesterday was Tuesday and we ended up having leftovers, um, which was the meatballs and pasta. And then today I'm going to do um, turkey wings. And um, some sort of veggie and maybe rice with that. I think we'll do tacos on Thursday. And then what else do we have? We have some chicken breasts. Um, I think maybe we can grill some chicken. So we'll do grilled chicken. And I'm thinking um, we could probably do, we have a couple of um, those mini buns, the hoagie buns left. So maybe we'll do grilled chicken fajitas. Uh, 
um, and then that'll take us into June for Saturday. Let's see. Do we have anything going on? Um, I don't think we have anything going on this weekend. I think Cubby works this weekend as well. He was supposed to be off, but he's got to work now. So, um, what is a good meal that I can make? I know on Sunday I'm probably going to do a roast. So I'll do um, maybe Mississippi. Either Mississippi or some kind of concoction that I can come up with. I have a roast, so I'll do that on Sunday. And then Saturday... Um, I don't know just yet for Saturday, guys. I think I'm going to leave that open. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that open. We might can do... Um, like a breakfast for dinner that day, um, but we'll see. So I'm going to leave Saturday blank, and then for this week, this is what we have going on. We're already into Wednesday, so sorry for the short week, but this is when I went grocery shopping, so this is what we're starting with. It's just been a crazy week with um, the kids getting out of school and everything, so... I think this looks like a solid meal plan. Um, and then for lunches, they have options like um, peanut butter and jelly, or they can do um, deli sandwiches. They can do um, noodles, like those ramen noodles. We have hot dogs, so they could do um, chili dogs, things like that. So this is what we're working with for this week. Okay, yeah, so that's everything for this week. Like I said, it's just a um, shortened meal plan for you guys. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So getting into the swing of um, summer and having the kids home for all three meals. So that's going to take a bit more planning on my part, but this is a good start to it. Um, and... Hope you guys enjoyed this format of the video. This is something different that I've never really done before where I do the, the grocery shopping, the meal plan, and showing you guys what we have currently. Um, so let me know if you like this format, how it works, you know, what you guys think about it. Um, please leave me comments on that. And let me know what you guys are eating this week. Give me some meal inspiration um, because, you know, we can get burnt out really easily with the... Um, you know meal planning thing sometimes it's hard to be the one to always come up with all the meals all the time and I do you know try to share that responsibility with my family I try to have the um, kids come up with at least one meal each if they can or you know they agree on at least one meal and I try to incorporate um, things that my husband likes or try to get his input but he's usually um, of the mindset of whatever I cook, he'll eat. So I don't even bother with him most times, but I do try to, you know, get them to give me some input because it can get, you know, hard at times to be the one responsible for everybody's meals all the time. So anyhow, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Don't want it to be too long, but thanks again for stopping by the channel. Please let me know what you think of the new format um, for these videos. Or if you just prefer just the grocery hauls by themselves, then, you know, give me some feedback. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.